Sawate, this is Jeff. This is David. We are playing Darksiders 2. On today's episode, we are going to Bone Riven, the sequel to Mist. <laughs> uh, you've actually beaten Riven, haven't you? Yes. Okay. Yes, I have. I haven't even beaten many, Mist, so. Many, many moons ago. It's good stuff. Apparently, I read the the Mist novel. The Chronicles of the Dunny or something. something no, something. Book of Atris. But Book of Atris. Okay, yes. Is it Atris? Uh, yes, it's Atris. So wait, why did you split into two parts for that? <laughs> uh, because look, time is money. Okay. And you're going to use... So why are we on the menu? It's really all I can say about that. Just can't really explain it further. Hmm. Oh, we've got skill points. Are you making we murder better? Points. Yeah, I thought maybe... Yeah. Uh, murder can get you uh, reaper points now. Oh, Which is okay. kind of nice. You know, I guess. So you can be a yeah. reaper for longer, even though you can now be a reaper for longer yeah. anyway. Not for longer, but more frequently at least. Yeah. A more, a more frequent reaper. Your average time of reaper to non-reaper can now be higher in the favor of reaper. Yes, the reaper to death ratio. <laughs> Which sounds redundant, uh, doesn't it? It's my RD spread. Ah. <laughs> uh, because his name is Death. It's right, a, I get it. So it's okay. not KD, it's RD. Got it. Yep, yeah, yeah, it's, real, it's what? real creative. <laughs> That's a spike pit. Now we're playing Mortal Kombat. I didn't comment in the last video, and I kind of meant to, that the spike pit is literally just the spike pit from Mortal Kombat. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, I split because I thought that there was a treasure chest behind me, and I didn't want to waste that precious time money. <laughs> Now I'm back. Uh, it was another chest full of bouncy potions. Yes, unfortunately. Nothing in particular. Uh, the Bone Ribbon Whoa. is the hidden slash optional dungeon for the Kingdom of the Dead. Sentinel's Gaze is its own little area, but I'm it's kind of lump them together. Okay. Now we're going to use Echidna's Fangs. Okay, that we just got. We just got. Uh, now... You'll recall that I mentioned... Uh, oops, I didn't mean to undo that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we got enemies on the right. We got enemies on the left. So we're going to fight them at the same time using our... <laughs> using our Soul Splitter. Now, Soul Splitter does not make you invincible right. when you're not. The other guy can take damage, and you share a life bar. So what makes this possible uh, is because Echidna's Fangs will suck health out of enemies... Yeah, I remember that being a stickler next time, it's, uh, last time. It's super useful. Oh, that, that guy wasn't even attacking you. He died. It. He was I literally just running into your model. So the, uh, the main focus of this episode is going to be uh, using the Soul Splitter to its, uh, the way it's intended, I think. And then afterwards, we'll see how it's not intended. <laughs> Well, that's kind of the rule here, so... Yeah. Uh, also, you can climb up the side here. You don't have to go around the long way. Mm. We have some puzzles to solve, eh. uh, but again, we're going to solve them my own special way. <laughs> so. When you say puzzles to solve, is that puzzles in, like, air quotes or, like, yeah, legit no, puzzles it's, that it's you don't do right? It's a puzzle. It's just that we're going to... You use a few quirks to get around. So, like, for instance, if you crawl up here, you can land on this candle, which and jump onto the top here, so you don't actually have to blow up the uh, corruption crystals. Right. Come on, come on, come on! There we go. Yeah. Why? Why was he up there? I don't know. Hmm. hmm. There's another one around the corner. <laughs> He also, there's a oh, oh. stone. All right. Yeah. Uh, I look forward so, to the day when we can return all those to that poorly animated leave, Muppet Man. Yeah, we're going to leave Purple Death up there. We'll go get Green Death. Ah. Uh, to, I'm going to play a little... Uh, there we go. Toss it up to him. Oh, wow. That's... That's really awesome. <laughs> it is, in fact, possible, because I've done it, uh, to... Do this area without the soul splitter. Also, here's a, a right. relic. Right. 
Uh, however, Bone Ribbon itself, you need the Soul Splitter to get through, so it was kind of a moot point. Hey, look at all of these weapon racks. Since we have the Talisman that improves our Possessed Weapon drop, I have a feeling that we'll get a new Possessed Weapon. Right. I would, I would like to point out that Death can play catch with himself. He can. Which means he can also, like, hug himself. Kinda, yeah. Like, he can be his own best friend, literally. He can. That's let's see. Let's see great. what we get. I was prepared to spend some time here looking for what I wanted. Because what I want is a new pair of scythes. Okay. Uh, that has no effects on them. Hmm. Uh, so that we can put some new effects on them. Okay, there's our... I forgot to put on the demon. Oh, hey, look. Hey. Look what popped out. Oh. Exactly what I wanted. <laughs> so did you say it out loud? Did you sacrifice a goat? <laughs> what? Uh, no, there was no goat sacrificing. It was a quail. You sacrificed a quail. Look, it doesn't matter what was sacrificed, okay? It doesn't matter. Because I'm, sa I'm, I'm saying, if you sacrificed a quail, you it eat was a that afterwards. Okay, it was a kid. No, oh, you can't. Well, so it was a goat. So it actually was a goat. You, you yeah, lied. It was a goat. It was a goat. I'm sorry. Uh, it, was a, it was a goat after all. Uh, and, you know, kids can be tasty. Like, properly prepared. Yes. So can goats. Wait. Are you? No. Jokes. <laughs> I just, I have literally no follow-up to that. I'm, I'm not one for cannibalism humor today, I guess. You see, it's because they're sad, you see. It's called a portmanteau. <laughs> Dark Souls. <laughs> <clears throat> We're going to make a uh, a new scythe. I figured. From the one, okay. Uh, we still want critical chance, uh, critical damage, uh, but we're also going to throw on execution chance. So we can see more delicious so can, executions. Yeah, so we can see some more of the executions. Uh, I think the execution chance will go up to about 25, 30%. Unfortunately, I don't remember it because I recorded it earlier and the small video doesn't actually let me know what the numbers are. <laughs> well, it looks like it's at 29 to 30 right now. I'm not. Okay. All right. Let's. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 So I don't know what it is about the the word portmanteau, but it has been cropping up a lot uh, uh, this week. That is called the batter Meinhof phenomenon. Oh, really? It's when after learning something new or becoming aware of it, you start uh, mentally recognizing where it occurs in your life. But it's 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 not new. It's <laughs> it's okay. I, I, well, in that I, case, maybe you're just is. well. Then I I can't I can't answer that. Uh. I will continue explaining the batter Meinhof ph phenomenon because right. it's amusing. Wait, what did you call the the batter Meinhof? No, phenomenon. the 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 sides. Let's keep it topical, and then you can go off on your tangent. Uh but, oh yes, what did I call them? Like oh no, terminus est or something. Oh yes, the terminus est. Okay, uh, as as suggested by the thread. Okay, uh, I will I will go back and I will make sure to credit the person in the thread uh, that came up with that uh, terminus est, which is of course Latin for this is the end. Right. Uh, is a reference to... Hmm. Actually, I wrote this down, but I don't, I don't remember. I'll have to look it up. Oh. I will I will insert it into the video. Uh, it's a particular sword, a mercury-filled sword from a fantasy series. Okay. Actually, I thought that maybe you would know what the reference was. Uh, no. So, uh, um... Okay. Okay. Surprisingly enough, no, I don't. That's weird. Let's see. <laughs> fast. I had looked at that before, and I was prepared to remember, but then I didn't. I cannot. What? Well, well, you jumped down the rabbit hole. Uh, it's a from the Book of the New Sun. Okay, not even kind of aware of that, so... It is Severian's sword from Woo! that particular book. Why are you getting yourself... Oh. To prove what you can do. Ah, uh, yes. I'm assuming this is supposed to be hard. I guess. Or impossible at your current level. I don't know about that. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> uh, so yes. 
Severian was the name of the character. It's his uh. sword. It is full of mercury. It is supposed to be a sword. It is executioner's sword that is supposed to be. <laughs> you didn't. Easy to hold up, but hard to bring down, as a sort of metaphor. Ah. Uh. I don't. I don't think mercury would actually do that, though. Uh, either way, the. <laughs> I know the Terminus Est as a weapon from Symphony of the Night. Oh, <laughs> so okay. That's where I know it from. <laughs> okay, all right, that's fine. It turns out that most of the... Uh, oh, the the way that this silliness works, <laughs> uh, the Claw's charge attack is an auto combo. Oh, okay. So by just constantly switching back and forth and using the auto combo, I can pretty much have both deaths doing their... Uh, well, getting their work done. You, I think you may have screwed that up. Nope. <laughs> you're just, just fine. You're just playing first person. Darksiders now. Possibly. Aw, they tried to give you new pants. Yeah, but those are not the pants that I want. Mm -hmm. Disregard pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pants are... <clears throat> this is a PG Honest. version of that. Yeah, disregard <laughs> pants. You're right. Yes. That disregard is, pants. That's a much more PG version of my life motto. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Most of Bone Ribbon is pressure plates that are held down by the two deaths. As you might imagine. Yeah. There's a lot of this. And then you wait, and it goes ting 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 ting. And now you're playing tag with yourself from a distance. Maybe. Uh and then you go on through. Mm-hmm. To the other side. So Because the doors. The door is what you're going on to the other side of. Right. It's the doors. Because because they wrote the song. All right, I get it. <laughs> I didn't know if you got that super obscure <laughs> reference to a band no one's really heard of. Yeah, yeah they're I pretty. Know. They're pretty indie. I don't know if you've heard right. of them before. Yeah. Weird. Weird thing about the Doors. One of the uh, music ministers uh, that I'm friends with, his one of his old bands actually opened for them once. Oh, that's neat. His, if so, oh, wait, he opened for the the Doors. Yeah, and he was about to open for he was gonna open for the Who at some point. I was like, "What? No, huh? What? <laughs> That's well. I mean, it's only it's only chivalrous to open the door for someone, right? Right. That's yeah. You know, for some reason, that reminds me of I was in a band called the Openers at one point, which we thought was so clever. Why is Death throwing a tantrum? <laughs> uh, that's one of the moves you can do with the. Uh fast sub weapons it's uh, back and mashing on Y he throws a tantrum he throws a temper tantrum alright oh we passed by a little stone that's cool we'll, we'll shoot the stone I, I figured at some point that's not like if I thought you may have missed it then I would start twitching but it's mm. you and you're more anal about this stuff than I am so mm -hmm. I know you mm -hmm. get it mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're, you almost thousand pointed last remnant, so. Yeah, yeah. I 975 pointed it, <laughs> and then it beat me because. Because that look, game. That game. Thousand point in that game sucks. Because if you fight, if you play through the game, and you fight enemies. You will level up your characters wrong, and it will become literally impossible to beat some of the sub bosses or the optional bosses at the end. Yep. Because you have to level them correctly. Right. Otherwise, because if you just go through and fight enemies, not going to happen. You have to make sure you get just the right setup and just the right bonuses. Furthermore, you have to follow a guide because you have to get all the stupid, uh, like, optional monsters that will only appear, like, once every... 250 times if you go through this area and then you have to fight them and kill them and you have to kill all of them but I did all of that the thing that the thing that broke me at the end was I had two achievements remaining one of which was get, all get the 50 it was just like get 50 like convert enemies into items it was something like that 
And after doing that for about four or five months of just doing the same fight over and over again, because it was just you're right next to the save point, you fight the enemies, there's like a one in ten chance that they will turn into an item. And it was just like, do that like a hundred or two hundred times. And then I had no idea how to check that, or if it was counting it, or if maybe I had to go somewhere for it to pop, and I just gave up. Because the only other the only other achievement that was left in that game was fighting the true conqueror, which is the it's the last boss, except like it has like ten times the stats that you only get after getting the rest of the monster rare monsters or something like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Dark Souls Two is not as frustrating. Anymore. One At the same hope. time, I was also thousand pointing Devil May Cry Four, except I actually did that. Right. Also, you okay. just got way quiet. Okay. Back to normal. Uh. <laughs> well, Devil May Cry Four is fun. It uh, is fun. Apparently, I mean, I've never played more than. I don't know, I think it was about 20 minutes before I got tired of you laughing at me. No, yeah, that's uh, longer than, like, Splash Woman. <laughs> no, because it took me less than 20 minutes to beat her. Screw you. <laughs> okay. It took me more than one try, which is a shame, but... Mm -hmm. It took her less than 20 minutes to beat you. <laughs> is the, uh, are the levels fine? Checking. Yeah, they're fine now. Okay. okay. Um, they want to make sure that it auto-corrected from, uh, let's say, uh, grumbling earlier. Yeah. <laughs> um, what... What did you just fight? You know, uh, some, uh, some enemies. <laughs> you got more possessed devil sides. Yep, I did. I did mention that we'll be getting so many of those red weapons that we'll just be leaving them behind. If they're not what and you want. If it's not what I want, then just leave them. It's no point. Mm -hmm. I guess you could sell them if you wanted to, but eh. Yeah, you're just about out of a use for- oh, ah! You're just about out of a use for money, right? Yeah, I want to have enough money when we reach like level 17, 18, whereabouts the uh, health steal and wrath steal power-ups can start appearing. Ah. Uh. Uh, because they will cost an exorbitant amount of money. <laughs> that is assuming that I don't want to just farm for them. Like, if they show up in a shop, I want them to at least have the ability. What's, uh... Wh the what, what, waviness yeah. you see there, that, that means you're getting too far away from Death's original statue form. Ah. If you walk too far away, it'll just uh, dispossess, and you'll pop back over to where the statue is. So there there is an effective limit on how far you can go with your... Uh, Oh, I just half, noticed half deaths. all the little all the little things that generally fly into you are still flying into your statue. They're not flying into green or purple. Uh, I think that, that they recognize the statue as a target, but they will still... Oh, you mean the, uh, like, the souls that are flying in. Right, yes, right, yes, right. Yes, 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 okay. The particle effects, that's what you mean. Yeah. Uh, an interesting thing you can do with the Soul Splitter is you can have, well, you already have infinite bullets, but you can mitigate the cooldown <laughs> on the gun. Because if you only shoot nine bullets, it will recharge fast enough so that the nine bullets you shoot with the other half. And you can switch back and forth and have just a machine gun of bullets going. That's... It requires a little bit of micromanagement, and it's completely, completely useless, right. really. There's no reason to do it, but you might as well. Might as well. Oh, man. There isn't really a boss, per se. There's a boss encounter. Uh, is this it? Yes. Ah. It's a wide open area with some of these... Uh, I still forget what those guys are called. Beetle the beetles. Yes, large beetles. Yep. And also about three or four uh, sp monster spawners right. that are spawning the tiny beetles. Ah. And I don't know if anyone else will catch what a Beetleborg is. It was a show I watched as a child. It was very, very terrible. So... I, Yep, I didn't know what you're talking about. Yep. Big Bad Beetleborgs, that's what it was called. Kept the alliteration going. There goes one. Exploded. Yep. 
I, I do like the design on these, and I like how they come apart. Mm -hmm. It is exceptionally metal, I guess would be the way to put it. Okay, an execution. That's also exceptionally Stab. metal. <laughs> Ten thousand? It's just such a fun number. It is a fun number. It's always good to see more than four nines in a video game. Yep. Well, it's also real refreshing after playing, you know, the game that we shouldn't talk too much about, so we don't just talk about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, I know. I get it. I we're get it. I'm used hey, to look, like another <laughs> another red weapon. <laughs> it's a hammer this time. I uh, like that. Yep. And then it's another pair of sides. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But no, in the game we shall not name, seeing more than 500 is rare, so it's always nice just to get mm -hmm. that good, you know, seven, eight digit number going. In this case, it was only five, but humor me. I, I understand. Numbers are hard. <laughs> I'd say I'm a musician, but that's not really a good excuse considering how much we have to count. Yes, but you don't have to count far. I mean, just usually up to four, maybe five, and that's it. You well, just start over again. Remember, I was a tuba player, so there so, would be songs where I'd had 54 to 70 measures of not playing in a row, and then I'd play for three measures, and then not play for the rest of the song. I guess there, there is that. Well, I was percussionist, so... <laughs> oh, you had entire, a way worse. <laughs> ...entire movements that just say tacit, but at least I don't have to count. Right. <laughs> it's take a nap. What are you... Were you trying uh, yeah, to cheese I was, that? No, I was trapped on the other side of the statue. Mm. Just need to... Just need to get on the right side of the statue there. Ah. Just hanging out. Teal death. <laughs> right. Out. Is he teal? Is he green? What are we calling him? I'm going to say teal death. Teal death. Teal death do us part kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. See, I made a pun. Are you happy? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't that good, but that's what you're getting. I cannot. You can try and prove that there's scythe after death. <laughs> okay, that was... I. That made me laugh, and I feel bad. Uh, uh, uh. I'll pretend like I didn't use that one earlier, because you just didn't watch the video. <laughs> oh, you wait, you used that one earlier? Uh, yes, that, um, that's the name of Etu Goth's album. Oh, I didn't... I didn't actually see that text. Okay. <laughs> it's a scythe after death. Oh, <laughs> uh, all right. You're, you're asking me to be observant, man. I know. I know. Oh, hey. This treasure chest gets its own little cutscene. It's just, also, it, there's it, a GameStop pre-order invisible guy in here, too. Aha. Uh -huh. Great. You know, if I ever actually play this game, I'll see what that's all about. Maybe. I suppose the PC version would come with all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, it has literally everything. Okay. Yep, there he is. You can kind of see very vaguely the It's a bug. It's yep. another bug. Yay! <laughs> now bring it on. Bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs> see if we can get a... Good. Uh, Uh, Shoot. Nope. Nope. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Next time on Let's Play Darksiders 2, we will go to the uh, City of the Dead. But first, you know how the Soul Splitter seems like you could do really weird, stupid crap with it? Yeah. Well, you can. Oh, great. Uh, if you call your horse in at the same time that you come out of the uh, uh, statue form, which can be accomplished by sort of spamming the call horse button at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, it will get you stuck in an interesting mode where you are doing your ground combos while on the back of the horse. Uh, it hasn't worked just quite yet. This was this is from Findlesticks, who uh, as uh, we've seen some of his glitches earlier. <clears throat> so now we can do all of our ground <laughs> combos on the back of the horse. 
<laughs> and he looks so stupid doing it. <laughs> what on earth? Uh, if you cause the horse to rear back, you'll go back to doing the horse combos. Okay. But that's okay because the the horseback animation will stay after you jump off the horse. So now we've got a weird, <laughs> squ a sort of a weird squat thing, and he just is terrible at holding his weapons. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you are moving at the exact same time that you call the horse, uh, he'll be stuck in a running animation, even though he's not moving. Uh, which we might see at some point. Of course. Uh, but we can choose some different weapons here just to see how improperly they look. <laughs> Let's see. What else we got here? We got the Amino Bolgnir. Amino Bolgnir. No. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so there's that. It's the power of the mind. <laughs> it's just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Half-heartedly just swinging it around. Uh, well, he's not he a has, great telepath. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not. Look, okay, it takes a lot of mental training to be like, you know, a proper <laughs> telepath. Although he's pretty good at his uh, trick gun shooting there. Yeah. <laughs> I think I like the ice skating the most. Is getting his ocelot on. <laughs> I trick shot at you. <laughs> oh, oh, just doing an execution reset it? Uh, I don't think so. But I'm trying to get closer and do it anyways. Come back, come back. Come you back, move pretty slow like this. No, you move at the same speed. Yeah, it all is all just kind of weird. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think All right, so Death <laughs> forgot how to hold things. And next time we'll go to the City of the Dead. This is a, an amusing diversion. I'm still thinking whether or not I want to play through the uh, City of the Dead in this <laughs> mode. Let's see what happens. But that's next time on Let's Play Darksiders 2. Dark Souls 2. Yes. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. All right, let's stop, stop recording. recording. Stop recording. <laughs>